pathway to a perfect life that is without struggle. The life of a believer can be just as, or even more challenging than that of a non-believer. Apostle Paul's life was full of suffering, and yet his spirit was one of joy and gladness, because all his suffering brought glory to God. The surrender to God is the reason he is considered to be one of the most influential leaders in the early Christian church. In 2 Corinthians 12.10, he says, For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. It is not in our strength, but in our weakness, that God is glorified. Our suffering allows for God to work in our lives. When we see that we do not have the power to save ourselves, we experience his saving grace. And when we feel tired and alone, we experience his faithfulness. At this point, all of us are quite familiar with Miss Rona, aka COVID, and it has been a truly trying time with lots of sickness and loss. And the struggle that all of us have had to go through and are still going through has definitely not been easy. However, for me, there was a silver lining. Though I was struggling with loneliness and burnout, among other things, I was really blessed during this time. God overflowed me with the love of all the people he placed in my life, family, friends, FCS, and Pursuit Fellowship. He provided me with time at home to rekindle these relationships, as well as spend more time in solitude with him, growing in my faith and re-recognizing my brokenness and need for him. In a time of quarantine and self-isolation, through God's grace, I was able to build community and engage in fruitful fellowship with loved ones, experiencing God's love through those around me. In our next song, Scars, we will see that when we recount our suffering and see our scars, we also see that it was in our brokenness that we truly experienced the grace of God and his love for us. Because of Jesus' sacrifice made on the cross for our sake, we are able to find true victory in our lives.
welcome Heather.